I'm not getting to get much of a game on the field tonight between Bartram Trail and Creekside, but Nicole is here to tell us about a great cause that the two schools came together for off the field. Yeah, they had military appreciation night tonight, and it was awesome. They had a huge tailgate before the game for two hours for all the students and families to come out. And as a lot of people know, Creekside, the community is a big right. military community. So a lot of families out there and a lot of students that go there that are in military families. So they really wanted to reach out and support these families and show them that they care about them and they're there for them, especially when those loved ones are deployed. Right. So they also had um, all of the branches of the military out there supporting everyone and also giving out information in case right. high school students were interested in signing up. So they honored them on the field. Um, as well as off the field, and specifically a World War II veteran Very who cool. uh, got a special dedication tonight. They may be rivalry teams, but when it comes to showing support for the armed forces, the red and blue schools band together. Would you like a flag? American flags were flown throughout the stadium for military appreciation night. And before the game, a huge tailgate for students and families to enjoy food, fun, and to learn more about the different branches of the service. On the field and off, fans recognize veterans and those still serving. Oh, this is great to have uh, March from Trail and Creekside have us out here and show their support and the community rallying behind. It was great seeing the bands uh, playing the national anthem. One special veteran was honored in front of the crowds before kickoff. James Snellen, who served in World War II, was given a plaque for his dedication to the community and our country. I forced my parents into signing my papers to join the Navy at 17. Snellen says he sailed away to the South Pacific in 1944 and served for 26 months. He then went back home to finish high school and start college but he couldn't stay away from the military for too long. I, I just hadn't grown up yet. I was still just turned 20 years old. And so I re-enlisted in, in the U.S. Army in the 1947. The 90-year-old says he is one of the few World War II veterans still around today. And he offers up his history and a story any chance he gets. Some students would come running forward. They'd hug me, take pictures. It shocked me at the interest enthusiasm those young Thomas people Slavin had. And did he have a story to tell tonight? Yeah. He just turned 90 this week wow. and he is Happy sharp as again. attack and he had a lot to say. He told me about every journey he went through. It was about an 18-minute interview. I tried to include <laughs> what I could. A little timeline there of his service, but uh, he is definitely an awesome person and I was so very happy to meet him and thankful for his service and all those veterans and people who are serving right now. Yeah, we didn't kind of plan this, but we've kind of got our red, yeah, white, and blue going exactly. on too, man. Got to represent. Absolutely, man. <laughs> They're coming together for a good cause out there. Yeah. Like we said, they didn't get much of a game on the field, but hey, mm -hmm. both schools were able to come together for a great cause off the field.